Hello my friends, I see you all. Welcome to another video. Mike Diggins here. Today we're looking for fossils. My friend Braden's taken us to a local fossil field in his area and uh, we're looking for trilobites, small fish, some plants. Hope we find some. It's pretty exciting. It's something I've always liked doing ever since I was a kid. Go and break rocks open and see what's inside them. Pretty early in the morning. We're excited. We're gonna be doing this for about an hour, then we're gonna go have an awesome breakfast. Stay tuned, folks. So all you do when you're looking for fossils is you find some interesting black shale, in this case anyways, and you look for the thicker pieces. You turn them on their side and you crack them in half, split them open, and hopefully there's something cool in it. So far we haven't found anything, but we've only been doing it for about five minutes. So um, we'll keep going, we'll keep looking. There's a lot of really interesting stuff here though, like like some of these shales they have like this really interesting green sort of mudstone with the red banding through it and all these streaks that that's not oxidation that's the actual color of whatever sediment material had Braden's found a fossil let's go check it out so this is a not good this is a not good formation of one start. You can see the lines in there. So this didn't form well in this lighter material here. So you can see that's the top of his head's here, right? Like oh, that. And yeah, it starts to come it. down. So literally he's like this. He's got big long horns that come off the side, but this is a little bit here. Do you need a chisel? There. You can see the rest of his cap. So, goes like that, and then his eyes would be right there, right there. Comes up and around. So this is not a good formed one. Most of the time they're like a black. So this fell off and then it got into more of a mineralization with the red here in the, in the clays. And uh, didn't form well, but was still preserved enough, just a little bit. Oh, there's a very small one there. It's not very well formed. Now we're getting on to the better stuff. So back in the day when these rocks were ocean sediments and soft, you'd also get worms crawling through them and all sorts of little critters burrowing into these sediments. And one of their fossil remnants are these long tube structures that you see in these dots. The dots are cross sections of the, the tunnels. Whereas these are your lengthwise sections of the tunnels. That's evidence that little critters once burrowed and dug through this sediment when it was at the bottom of the ocean here. Pretty cool. So I picked this rock up and gave it a nice love tap there and this piece slid off. And when it did, hymns dropped like that. If you look, there's a teeny, teeny, really well-preserved one there, right there. There's his, I think there's another one there. Oh shit, I see. Right there. Yeah, that's so little. But teeny teeny and really well preserved. Yeah, really crazy. You can see like all the little details so I don't of his know head right there. Another one there. All his little lines and. Yeah. We'll get a close-up shot to show you with my, my camera. Whoa! 
So we've been here for about an hour. We've had a pretty good time. We found some interesting fossils. We found a couple mortality plates, which is really cool. Now what a mortality plate is, is it's a plate of fossils that has a large number of deceased organisms in it, right? So it's not just one fossil, it's multiple. It's a cluster of them. Um, and that's just so cool. If you take a look here, you can see the multiple different animals that had passed and got buried by these sediments in these plates here. Usually how that happens as well is some sort of major cataclysm, such as a landslide, um, earthquake, meteor, stuff like that that's gonna extremely um, change the terrestrial environment and cause this, literally, the giant wall of silt to come and bury them alive, right? So fossilization is extremely, extremely rare in general. Um, and apparently less than only 3% of all the fossils we have found um, are like 1% of the life that is actually was around, right? So fossilization is an extremely rare process. It has to be the perfect storm, so to speak. No oxygen, no organisms getting to the dead life forms to break them down and eat them, right? So it's right, extremely cool. To fill it in and exactly. It Super cool stuff. So we're gonna take these finds and we're gonna go and bring them home and show them off and prepare clean them, them and clean them up, get them all nice and spick and span. And uh, might even have brought back a few for Canadian gold mining. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sibo, if you're watching, this one's for you, buddy. Shout out to Canadian gold mining. If you're a miner in Canada, that's definitely a page you wanna check out. He's got a YouTube page, he's got a Facebook page, and he runs the Canadian gold mining group on Facebook. It is a group that's exclusive to Canadian gold miners. You can go in there and you can learn all sorts of stuff about mining in Canada. And uh, that goes coast to coast. It's not just BC, coast to coast. Uh, pretty cool spot. So check it out. Thanks for watching my friends. If you enjoyed this video and I've earned it, please hit that subscription, hit the like, maybe even share. It's much appreciated. Take care folks, have a great day. Bye, see you later.